Uh, it's like the one couple that, or like pairing that I just, I just don't like, like flat out because of Nui. Mm -hmm. And it's just his presence online is just off-putting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the controversies of what he's been saying and like the how he's not getting involved in stuff uh, that he should probably have involved himself in. Like when they did the whole round with uh, gay marriage. Oh, yeah. On social media and every one of the like BL actors were sharing this and like getting people to see it like they were going to. They had this whole uh, vote for if they're, right. they were going to make it legal in Thailand to marry when you're gay. And he didn't share anything. We made a list of all yeah. the <laughs> <laughs> We put everyone on probation until they, like, said something about it. Yeah, yeah because, like, it was a really telling thing if they didn't support this, that they're actually not in the industry to actually support gay rights they're just kind of there for the money and he was like almost only one who didn't post anything yeah 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 and i do think Mm. he has been separating himself from gmm tv as a whole lately Mm. and i don't know if that plays into it like if he's trying to separate himself from being tied down to a bl pairing i know that him and tay you know, still spend time together in Mm -hmm. real life. And, you know, we've seen some instances of them hanging out as friends, but I wonder if he's trying to separate himself from the title of a BL actor, which like I get to an extent, but also if Mm -hmm. you've like made your whole career off of playing an LGBT character, the least you can do is use your platform to advocate for the actual rights of LGBT people in real life that are like mm. being affected by potential rulings and votes and stuff like that. Yeah, and what really makes me kind of sad too is that there are these diehard fans who just kind of make up excuses mm-hmm. for whoever they like because they're such big fans that they'll like instead of waiting for a message from the actor themselves, they are kind of like just making up a narrative right. of how the actor that they don't know personally and must be feeling because they feel like they know them even yeah. though they're just a fan and i hate it when that happens it's just like can the actor talk for themselves don't yeah don't make excuses for them or whatever yeah. it's at the end of the day they might be famous but they're still human beings yeah. and you should ask decently and they're adults too <laughs> They don't need to be baited yeah, exactly. by their fans. Yes, they should be held accountable for what they do and what they say. And even you can say that, okay, the message they put out, someone might have misunderstood, but it's not the fans' job to tell people they misunderstood the message exactly. because it wasn't their message. They don't know what the message was meant as, right? Exactly. So it should be the actor who kind of goes out and, okay, I didn't mean that, I meant that, right? So, yeah. And at the end of the day, even if your intentions were different, if a certain group of people were hurt by your words or the way you said something, I think that still Mm -hmm. merits an apology Mm -hmm. because that group of people that was infected by your words is interpreting it a certain way in a way that's hurtful to them. And sure, maybe that wasn't your intention, but that's how a large group of people are reading it. And I think that Mm -hmm. is still worthy of owning up to that and apologizing for it. Yeah. Like the situation with the title and Earth. Yeah. When they were doing this competition thing where they were going to guess who were who from some pictures. And when it was Earth uh, time, they title said that he should look at dick pics Uh because he's like the only openly gay member of the cast oh i hated that so much and title went on twitter and said he was sorry if someone misunderstood but he didn't say dick he said male genital the fact that made it all better Uh and like that's the same thing (laughs) 
Yeah. And the fans are like, oh, it's okay. Yeah. And it's not. It still yeah. said the word. And and fans were writing things like under his post on Twitter that thank you for apologizing. <laughs> and just that wasn't an apology at all. Clearly he didn't understand what he did. Yeah, when knew he did that, the like that thing that he did when he was it when he was on webcam or something, he just pretended to be disabled. Mm -hmm. And he didn't even apologize. He just said, like, I'm sorry you're offended. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry you misunderstood or or something like yeah. that. Yeah. It wasn't even a proper apology. It's like, so you're not even sorry. You're just sorry that you got found out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that it came, got brought up again. Yeah, that that was just like... Ugh. Like, I'm all for people not being overly sensitive, but some stuff is not... You're not talking about being overly sensitive here. It's like really bad things like pretending to be like disabled is how would a disabled person feel when they saw that? Yeah, right. Especially if they were a fan of him. Yeah. Like I work and look after people with disabilities and I think it is absolutely disgusting that someone would take the make, like take the make fun out of someone like that. Mm. Like you wouldn't want to be like that yourself. So don't take make fun of someone like that. Mm. Mm. So I just, I think, it, I think yeah, I'm agree. more upset about that because I feel so strongly about it. Mm -hmm. But it's mm -hmm. like, if we did it, and when normal people, no celebrities, we would get hate so much. But because mm -hmm. it's a celebrity, it should not be just like brushed aside. Yeah, he's got like a huge fandom, like a lot of people follow him. And if we just collectively say that, oh, it's okay that he did that, then like, what are people going to think? You have a responsibility when you have such a huge platform. Exactly. And you have fans that are really, some might be young and some might be old and you've got to educate them. Yeah. That things are not the right thing, like when things are not meant to be done, like not, what not to do. 